Cashless payments are growing in popularity and we all know that. But what if I say that we might not need to have to pay at all? Let me explain. Amazon has recently introduced Amazon Go. It sounds like a streaming platform, I know, but no, it's not. What they actually did is they bought off warehouses and made their own supermarkets. It doesn't sound interesting. Well, it is. Because Amazon has introduced a way to shop that ha we have never seen before. The unique thing about Amazon Go is you take your shopping cart, you go into the store, put anything you need in the cart, and then just walk out. It will automatically detect what you bought and charge you in your credit card. So how does that actually work? What Amazon did is they invested in a computer vision and intelligence company and they developed a system where in each section of the supermarket they would have these sensors that recognize you as a customer and whatever you pick up and put in your cart. And if you pick it up from your cart and put it back in, it will understand that you, don't, you no longer want to buy it. And when you move out, it will understand your account, your Amazon account, that has the card stored in it and it will charge you depending on what you have spent so far. So why is this interesting? A few days ago, uh, the British supermarket company Aldi has invested in another computer intelligence company and when they made the purchase, everyone started thinking, is the future of supermarkets paymentless? Well, not really paymentless, but you know what I mean. Initially, we were used to paying with cash. Then we moved on to paying with cashless payments. Now, seemingly, there will be no cash system or cashless system at all in the supermarkets. And that's intriguing, to say the least. Both Amazon and Aldi, and possibly more companies coming in the way, are looking at the financial transaction system of Uber. So the way you use Uber drivers is you just open the app, call the driver in, walk in, and then it will charge your phone automatically. You don't need to pay the driver anything. It also poses the question of, are we transitioning from coins to cash to contactless to nothing? And how does that affect the way we spend? I mean, I kind of like the human interaction when you're about to cash out. I mean, yeah, I know, it's a little bit of a chit chat, but I don't mind it. And having no one there, you just walk in, grab your stuff and walk out, will be a little strange and it will take time to get used to it. Let me know, would you like to try it? And, and if you are okay with trying it, do you think you will like it or prefer it? Another thing that came up is, will it eat jobs? When Amazon were asked by that, their response was like, we already make jobs, we already bought this company and we are making jobs by making these extra supermarkets and investing in engineers and programmers to make this technology so they are creating jobs but the jobs we are talking about are the cashiers and the warehouse people and you know the people who are working to make sure that everything is organized and the payments go through do they lose their jobs and one important factor is security honestly me personally i haven't tried that system at all but kind of brings up the idea of will theft increase, decrease, or remain the same? If it's all run by cameras, they can track you down, but what if you trick the system in a way? From what I understand is it's not completely automated. There are people still monitoring what's going on, and there will still be a security team inside the you know shopping mall or whatever. So it will not be insecure, but the way I'm thinking of it is Will thieves find a loophole in the system or will this be the end of theft, in terms of supermarket theft at least? And the last thing this got me thinking about is the fact that this investment by Amazon suddenly makes them aware of what you want to buy, what you are likely to buy. You could, for example, go and buy baby stuff from their supermarket and when you go online you see baby ads and they will know everything, what you buy, when you buy, where you buy. And it, it's a little bit scary giving these companies so much data, so much of your personal data. They also would like to track your spending habits. When you get rid of the payment system and make it so seamless, 
Will our personal spending habits change? Would it be easier to buy things if you don't see yourself in any way, shape or form pay for it, except for after the fact when you receive a notification? I don't know, I find it a really interesting topic that in the future, maybe 20 years from now, 30 years from now, who knows, maybe the cashier system will no longer exist. You just walk in, grab whatever you want, and chase your new adventure.